Hello, everybody, and welcome back to. <coughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Universe Sandbox 2. My name is Superhoy, and today we are going to try to make a planet the mass of Jupiter without turning it into a gas giant. Please do it, as requested by Ch Tracy Carlton. Now, without further ado, I'm going to do that by adding, I'm gonna start off with a small moon because I really don't want to um, What am I trying to say? I really don't want to start out or start out with uh, asteroids this time. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. We have <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. and there you go. We have a planet that is exactly one times the mass of Jupiter, and it is not a gas giant. And we did so just by colliding things together. I had to keep resetting the temperature in this because it just kept getting weirder and weirder, and or not weirder, hotter, hotter and hotter. And if it gets too hot, it'll split itself. And it's just, it'd just be a bad day for everyone involved. So, now that we have this 
um, planet here. We are going to um, save this object, save, and then user objects, hopefully. Uh, I really hope it actually saves. Open bodies folder. Okay, well, it should be in here according to what I can see. So, let's. Okay, let's. New empty simulation. Add user objects. And I don't know why it doesn't show up in here. Why do. Oh, you know, it might be because I'm using an alpha build. That's okay. Alright. Well. In that case, the other thing I wanted to do in this episode is I wanted to simulate what you would have to do to get uh, Jupiter to have ranks. And since we can actually do that now, I don't know, position lock, there we go. I wanted to show you how how this would work. Wow, our money is tiny. Earth? No, 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 no not the whole system. Nope. Neptune. Neptune is small compared to Jupiter. I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, we're going to put Neptune ridiculously close to Jupiter. And Neptune... Shh, maybe it's not close enough. Okay. Motion. Okay. I just don't think it was close enough. Okay. Well, we're going to put Earth really, really... Okay. We're going to cool this down first, though. Temperature zero. There we go. All right, we're gonna put Earth really, 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 really close to Jupiter here. Too close, in fact. And what's gonna happen is Earth is going to disintegrate and it is going to disperse rocks and what have you all over the place around Jupiter. And this is how we believe that the rings on Jupiter were created just by random things like, okay, let's just go into common random rocky planet. Not even necessarily planets, but just things got too close to Jupiter and they hit what's called their Roche limit. What is, okay, this is freaking out. I don't know why this is freaking out so much, but basically what happens is a planet gets too close to its, a planet, a moon gets too close to its host planet or something gets too close to its host star or a black hole or something of that sort and it gets ripped apart like this. And it's just, it's just terrible bad. And we're gonna, no, not still. We're gonna continue putting things way too close to Jupiter so that they slowly get ripped apart. And basically, this is how we think the rings on, say, Saturn were made. Oh, this is bad. They're all collapsing into Jupiter. Okay. Well, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, that was weird. And now they've all collapsed into Jupiter, and Jupiter has reached 11,000 degrees Celsius, which is quite a good deal hotter than the sun. And this, this planet out here, click on it, is, I can't tell if it's being heated up by Jupiter, because Jupiter's hot, or if... Oh, what, what's happening to Jupiter now? It's getting cold. There we go. Now it's gonna get real cold, real fast. This is, this is really cool. This is really cool. I don't even... I'm supposed to be talking about this intelligently, and I'm totally not, and I don't... I don't know how to. That's okay, though. Uh, let's... Now, let's simulate what it would be like in the early solar system. So let's add the... Sun stars. Let's add the sun. We'll add the sun here. And just for scale, we'll put the Earth out at 1 AU. That's close enough. Okay. So, 
we have our beautiful sun here. And the Earth mm, is way, 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 way out there. Okay, so now what we think happened, if I can get this to work correctly, is we are going to add some rings. Advanced settings. Number of particles. We'll set it to 2,000. Number of body, 16 total mass. That's fine. I don't know what that does. Iron looks fine. Okay, guys. Well, welcome back. I don't know what exactly happened there, but it wasn't good, whatever it was. Okay. Now, we're gonna... We're gonna do this real quick. Uh, what did I say this was? One AU... Two... It was... I believe it was 30 AU. What else did I want? Shape ring. Okay, yes, we were changing this and I misclicked. So let's do like 7,500 particles and let's add ring. All right. Well, I know what I did wrong here. We're going to do iron the color of these will just yeah the color is white that's fine um we have to have the sun selected i'm gonna do zero radius to 30 oh right AU. 30 au number of particles about six thousand. add ring okay so this is kind of what we think the early solar system would have looked like. Granted, there would be a lot more particles here. However, my machine cannot handle that many particles. Now, uh, you're probably wondering why I put, set the radius of particles from 0 to 30 AU. And that is because Uranus, wherever you are, orbits the sun at about 30, right around there about 30 AU. So that's why oh, I started losing the particles there. Okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, but this is what we think the early, early solar system would have looked like. And I'm just going to delete this so it doesn't interfere with what we're trying to do here. Now, if I can zoom in on the sun here, we're going to go really, really close in because we're not going to be able to see anything otherwise. And I'm just going to put Earth, say, right here. This is not accurate at all. But, and we should probably add more particles here. Just edit this. Nope. Okay. Not quite enough. So, we're just going to say, like, 1 AU. And... 5,000 ish particles. Okay. And this is what the earliest of the solar system would have looked like. Yet, granted, there would be gajillions more particles here, but I can't simulate that with my machine. It's just not possible. And right now we're pulling 25 frames per second. And we think what had happened is some of these particles started smashing together, and I'll simulate that by adding a moon say here that might have been way too close that's fine but basically this white dot here is our moon and what it would have done is it would have sucked in a bunch of these particles and gained a lot of mass and that eventually would have become mercury which i don't know exactly where mercury orbits the sun so just give me the benefit of the doubt here so that is right around or this is how we think the solar system had formed. If we go further out, we can you know, put Venus here, and then Earth, uh, 
Earth would be 180 out. Right there. Earth would have formed out there. And then Ceres actually is in the asteroid belt and it is a dwarf planet. Where would I find that? Moons maybe? Not minor objects? Yeah, there we go, Ceres. Ceres would be in the asteroid belt somewhere beyond Mars out there. And eventually, with more time, Ceres may indeed become a bigger planet. We just don't know yet. And don't quote me on that because I haven't actually done any research on it. But this is how we think the solar system formed. Just gajillions of particles of rocks, dust, and what have you in the center. And then as we get further out, as the rocky planets towards the center of the solar system start to form, the sun's solar winds or highly ionizing radiation push all the lighter particles out into the outer reaches of the solar system, which is why we have Uranus out here, Neptune. Oh, sorry. I, I think I said Neptune orbits at 30 AU, that is actually incorrect. Neptune is the one that orbits 30 AU away from um, our sun. Jupiter here and Saturn, somewhere in between those two. And then we have our solar system here. And the lightest materials like hydrogen and helium, they all get pushed out here because the planets in here just don't didn't have enough gravity to hold on to the hydrogen and helium and even if they did have enough gravity to hold on to it they wouldn't be able to because the sun is just too powerful and it pushes it all away and that is how the solar system was born thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed go ahead leave a like on the video comment down below what you would like me to do next I really appreciate your guys' feedback on these videos. It's My channel has been growing quite rapidly recently, and there's been a lot of positive feedback I've gotten from these videos, and I just wanted to thank you guys for, for doing that and for keeping my interest in making these videos going, because without you guys, I wouldn't do this. The channel has grown tremendously over the past month or so, and I just can't say thank you enough. So... Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next episode. And above all else, remember, stay sneaky!